how to set a custom domain name with Google Sites. Let's get started. What's up everybody, my name is David. I hope you're having a great today. So what's so great about Google Sites is that they don't content lock the ability to set a custom domain name like other platforms. For example, like WordPress.com allows you to build a website, but your website's going to be mywebsite.wordpress.com. And if you wanna set a custom domain name like mywebsite.com, well, you need to upgrade your account to a paid plan. But with Google Sites, there's nothing to upgrade to. This feature is completely unlocked and you can set a custom domain name. The only cost required is that you actually purchase a domain name at a domain name registrar. Now in this short tutorial video, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process step by step. So let's get started. Welcome to my laptop, let's begin. So this is the website that I built with Google Sites and as you can see, it has a custom domain name, vlogout.com. So step one for setting a custom domain name is that you need to get a domain name at a domain name or register. And for that, I recommend Namecheap.com because they have very low registration prices and low renewal rates. So if you're brand new to Namecheap, your .com is only going to cost you $6.49 for the first year. So to get started, all you have to do is put in the domain name that you want to register right here, then click on search. Then it's going to take you to a page which will tell you whether or not the domain name that you want to register is available. Now, if it is available, then you can simply add it to your cart. If it's not available, then click up top here and change to a different word combination. When you find a .com, and I do recommend a .com if this is your first website, simply click on the add it to cart button right there. And then down here, it's gonna pop up with the red checkout button. You can ignore all these upsells over here. Just click on the red checkout button right there. And boom, we're on the Namecheap shopping cart page. So just make sure everything is correct. So you have your domain name registration over here. You can register your domain name for up to 10 years in advance, which is what you want. And you do get domain privacy included for free. And you do want domain privacy because part of ICANN rules when you're registering a domain name is to provide accurate information like your name, email, address, phone number, things like that. Domain privacy keeps all of that information private. Anyways, when you're ready to make a purchase, click on confirm order. And once you sign up to Namecheap, you're going to be directed to the checkout page. So again, just make sure your order is correct, your registration, the domain name, and so forth. And when you're ready, submit payments. Once you've purchased your domain name from Namecheap, it's now time to assign it as the custom domain name for your Google site. Now, I went ahead and removed vloghow.com, so I'm going to be starting from scratch so you can follow along. Anyways, click on the little gear icon right there. And you're gonna see an item that says custom domain name right here, click on that. And now you need to connect your domain name. So go ahead and click on connect domain. Now you need to type in the domain name that you registered at Namecheap or whatever domain name register you have your domain name from into the box right here. All right, so I went ahead and put in davidtutorial.com and it says this domain is not verified. Please verify your ownership. That's totally normal. So go ahead and click on verify your ownership. And it should open into a new tab and you should be looking at something called Google Search Console. Now over here it says domain and your domain name should be populating this little search function right there. We can enter your domain or subdomain in. That's correct. Now you wanna click on continue. Once you click on that, it's gonna tell you how to verify your domain ownership via DNS records over here. Now the easiest way is to set up a text record. So we need to copy this text record right here into the DNS configuration for davidtutorial.com. Now that sounds really confusing and complicated. It's not, it's really as simple as copying and pasting. So to get started verifying our domain ownership via DNS records is very simple. Simply click on the copy button right there. It copies the Google site verification. Now we need to navigate back over to Namecheap or whatever domain name register you're using. So this is my domain list. I have davidtutorial.com right over here. Now you need to click on the advanced tab right there. Once you do that, you're going to be looking at this page over here and you scroll down and it says no records found. So not a big deal. We need to add in a text record. Why a text record? Because it says TXT record right there. So you click on add a new record, scroll down where it says TXT record, click on that. Then go ahead and click on paste over here to paste in the verification code. Now the host should be at, okay? Doesn't need to be anything else or W, it's the at symbol right there. Next, click on the check mark to save changes. Now, once you've done that, simply navigate back to Search Console and click on the verify button right down here. And next is just say ownership verified. So you are good to go. 
Now, once you verify domain ownership within Google Search Console, simply navigate back to Google Sites, click on the gear icon, click on custom domains, and then click on connect domain. Now input your domain name in here once again, and then click on next. Now, instead of it showing that you have to verify ownership, well, now it tells you to enter in a CNAME or record so you can properly connect your Google site to your domain name. Now, you have to enter in ghsgooglehosted.com. So go ahead and highlight this little piece of text right there. Take that. And we need to enter in a CNAME record. So sounds again, sounds complicated, but it's very simple. Simply navigate back to your Namecheap account or again, whatever domain name register you're using, then you need to enter in another record right here. So we have a TXT record. Now we need to enter in a CNAME record. So just scroll down and find where it says CNAME. CNAME is right there. Click on that. Then the target is this right here. So GHS Google hosted.com. And then the host is www. And I'm getting that from right here, www. Anyways, when you input that information, go ahead and click on the little green check mark to save everything. And it's as simple as that. Now, let's jump back over here to our Google Sites over here and then click on Done. And now it's assigning the domain name. And there you go. You've successfully connected your domain. Now, again, it's not instantaneous. Please be patient. Give it 30 minutes to one hour. Everything will be working correctly, but it's not instantaneous. All right, everyone, that's it for this short tutorial video on how to set a custom domain name with Google Sites. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe and hit that like button. My name is David. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.